Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. And today, as per usual, we're going social linking and I'm going to try and, and visit Nanako. I believe there are a few events where you can actually go and visit Nanako in the hospital. I don't think it actually has any real bearing on the, uh, on the game, but it does give you that warm fuzzy feeling on the inside of giving a very sick girl a little bit of hope. And we all love that warm, fuzzy feeling in the deep down depths of our hearts. Or maybe you don't. Either way, you know, practically speaking, you probably shouldn't ever do that in the game. That sounds awful to say, but you're probably better off actually not going. And actually doing something that's more, you know, productive with your time. That sounds really awful to say, but it's right. Ah oh, yes, the Poisonous Fog Rumor. I mean, it kind of holds some salt when you think about it in the Persona 4 universe. The fog on the other side when we're, you know, we're in TV world, we get exhausted very easily. That could easily be wrote off by, oh, it's a gameplay mechanic because you can't. You know, do your homework or study that same night when you went into the TV world because you're tired or whatever. But I believe the game is actually trying to make a point for there is something seriously wrong with that fog, so these people might not just be, you know, trying to get out of finals, or they might not just be nuts. There might actually be something to this poisonous fog rumor. It's up to you to, you know, decide what you believe. I'm just giving you, trying to give you both sides of the story. Oh, right. I think I know what question this guy's hinting towards because he said something about his hip. And the only reason, if this is the same question I'm thinking of, if, does this have to, yeah, the, the glacier in South America, I know exactly what they're talking about. And you know why? Man versus wild with Bear Grylls. Or was that Survivor Man? Either way, I believe that's the Patagonia Ice Fields. I think. Both great shows for the record. Yeah, the Patagonian Ice Fields, I believe, is the correct answer. Not the Colombian ice fields. And denying it exists doesn't really do anybody any good, except make you look like, uh... Well, let's not... Let's not, you know, get into that. It just make it look like you're not interested in geography, shall we say. But yes, a lot of people probably go, What? I, how would I know that? I don't live in South America. That's why you watch, you know, survival shows, folks. The end of the world. And you might also learn something that helps you in video games. You never know. But getting off of Man vs. Wild and Survivor Man, because a lot of people don't like those. Today, what am I going to do today? I, I'm going to try and hang out with Ayabi Hara and see if she's available, or Yosuke, because I kind of like to finish this social link soon, because I think towards the end of November... You can't really hang out with your... Oh, that's that's that, I suppose. You can't really hang out with your school social links. Not your school social links, your party social links, I think. Except for, like, holidays and Sundays or something like that. So while I don't plan to ever use Yosuke, okay, I'd still like to try and get that social link done for you, out, for you guys out there who might be interested in seeing that. So. Aya's not here, so I suppose I'm going to have to... I can't hang out with anybody here. There's nobody to hang out with here. Okay, well, I'm going to go see if I can actually go hang out with somebody in the, what do you call it, the central shopping district. Because I never remember when I can go to this, the daycare job. I know there's a Friday involved. At least I know that much. Monday, Friday, Saturday, I was right. There's a Friday involved. I don't know why I always think Tuesday. I guess Tuesday just strikes me as one of those days parents need a babysitter. I don't know why they would need it on Tuesday of all days. Why not Wednesday? Just in my mind, it says Tuesday. Anyway, since that is not available, I am, and in fact, going to go hang out with Nanako and Yosuke in the hospital because, well, like I said, I'm going to try and do that anyway. Unless it interrupts my plans to hang out with a girl. Because, you know, we all have to have priorities in life. Family, that's important, right. but hanging out with girls, that, 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 that's real important. 
no, I'm not recommending people ditch their families for their girlfriends. You do have to have some priorities, guys and gals out there. That goes for you, too. Both sides of the coin here. But Nautico doesn't really seem to be getting any better. It's, I mean, it's great that she woke up. And I'm n I never know what to say when you visit somebody in the hospital. You can go back to sleep, just seems like I don't really care if you're awake or not. And does it hurt any worse? Kind of a stupid question. So, you know, we came to see you. I mean, it's not, I don't want to sound like, recognize that I did this, darn it. But, I mean, it was, more, it was meant more of a reassuring way, if you know what I'm talking about. But yes, she doesn't actually seem to be getting any better. If anything, she, they just have her doped up on pain meds, which is great. I don't really want her in pain, but, you know, it's not really doing anything. On the plus side, it does also, uh, as you see there, I guess it does up your relationship with your party. So I guess that is a good bonus. I didn't actually remember that. But, as per usual, I'm going to check because, again, I never remember a darn thing on when you can actually go to some of these social links. So, we're going to go fold more paper. Because that's what people do in their free time. Don't you? I do. Okay, sure. <laughs> Seriously, why not? I don't, I'm, I'd kind of like to hang out with Yosuke anyway. It just seems like every time I ever go to one of these things, something really, really bad or socially awkward happens with, 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 the, with the ladies, doesn't it? It always seems like it. Maybe because I've gone the way of the... Gone the way of the... Oh, crap. What's a nice way of wording that? Polyamorous, gentlemen. That's not a word you ever get to use, polyamorous. But I didn't want to say pimp. Because I, that's, I don't like using that word. And there's no money being changed hands, so it's technically incorrect. But getting off of that subject, because that's a touchy subject altogether... That hopefully nothing's going to go awry today. It, I'm, ju I'm just saying, it does seem like every single time we go out, I get into some kind of sticky situation that just is right out of a love comedy, you know, harem manga or anime. What kept you? Maybe it's because I read a bunch of them. I don't know. I just seem to recognize them. But thankfully, there don't seem to be any kind of any. Hints that that's going to occur today. So yeah, blood, sweat, tears, and baseball. I love baseball. I want to see that. Sounds good to me. All right. Baseball, truly a sport <sighs> among sport among gods. Well, two to one, you're outvoted, Joe. Okay, you get a deal with it. Or go sit in another theater. Oh, senpai. Oh. I had to say it, didn't I? At least there's only one. There's only one. <laughs> you are very straight and to the point, aren't you? Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth, Yosuke. Oh, God. <laughs> huh? Oh, dear. This is... This is true. He knows Yosuke. He's been in this situation before, I think. He knows what's going on. He, he knows my bad habits. And, you know, he's just going, oh. Every time I invite Barak out, something happens. Something happens every time with his lady problems. I don't really blame the two other guys. They're just like, I'm not getting involved in this. That's his problem. Thankfully, Yosuke is a very good best friend because he attempts to get you out of these situations and if you have an unbreakable bond with the two ladies, he always does. Huh. It's just not usually the way that he wants it to happen, but he does get you out of it. And if you've ever done Dice Case Root, you probably you probably understand why he's kind of just ugh at the whole situation. It doesn't really make sense if you're going Co's Root, but if you actually take Dice Case Root and go in the soccer practice soccer club, it's very, very obvious. 
because he has a lot of girl problems himself. Granted, he doesn't actually go after them, but that's for a whole other Let's Play. I don't want to spoil anybody, other, anybody else's Let's Play that actually does soccer. But yes, now I'm actually going to go to work as a janitor. I don't think I'll level up, but holding hope never hurts. Unless you get your hopes up too... Excuse me, unless you get your hopes up too high. And then they come crashing down like a plate of silverware. A plate of silverware, that is... That was just awful. We'll just skip that bad analogy. It never happened. I don't think this is going to level. Fair enough. Okay, well. No sense spilling over... I'm getting all kinds of really bad... I was gonna say, no sense spilling over spoiled milk. No sense crying over spilled milk. Would be the appropriate thing to say. Oh, pray tell, what's this one going to be about the fog again? That's always a good thing. Maybe that's just because I get sunburned a lot. I don't like the sun. I don't like it. Of course, the big con of fog every single day is more than likely a bunch of accidents are going to occur. You know, vehicular accidents. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot more likely in fog than it is in, obviously, sunny weather. But who cares about that? We're not of driving age, driving age yet in the game. No one cares then. Let them, let them crash. Oh yes, this teacher actually tries to give you really nice advice. She just does it in a really, really annoying way. Well, to be fair, I guess it's not really an annoying way. She just does it in a very complaining way. I, I can't really think of a good, you know, adjective for that, but yes. Oh, right, the Millennium Prize problems. No, before you say, I bet you've solved one. No, I know I seem like the intellectual type. Sadly, I never have. How many problems do you think? Oh, great. Uh, I would say... I don't think it's four. It's either six or all of them. I'm going to guess that one of them has been solved. That one, I can't remember the name of it. That's not something I talk about every day, sadly. I wish it was. I'll write the... that. The conjecture. That's a, that'd be a heck of a thing to have happen. Solve one of those, get a million bucks. Put that away for a rainy day. Of course, you couldn't really live off with the interest rates in this country right now. But it'd be a nice rainy day, you know, nest egg, all the same. But that 1% interest rate would just kill it. That's the key. If you ever get a bunch of money, you gotta save it. A lot of people don't want to save. It's not fun. It's not exciting. Okay, so today, as per usual, I'm going to see who's available. I would like to, as I said before, like to go with I, but I don't really see that happening. Oh, Yosuke is available, so if I is not available, I'll go with Yosuke to get that. I think he's at rank 8 right now, so I want to get that to rank 9, and hopefully, before the deadline goes, I can actually rank that up with him to 10, because rank 10 is a very, very interesting kind of social link event when, with Yosuke. It's actually pretty... Yo! Let's just say it's a very manly social link, rank 10. And I don't mean that in the Kanji See? Tatsumi manly violence. No, I do mean it in the very manly Kanji Tatsumi violence way. Never mind. I kind of gave that away, didn't I? Yep, I totally just gave that one away. But it's, it's probably not for the reason you're... Well, actually, it probably is for the reason you're imagining it as well. Never mind, I'll... That was... Spoilers ahoy! But yes, I'm going to go get a... Yeah, I'm actually... I actually just skipped ahead here. And I'm fusing those two together, Narasima and Scotty, to make har uh, this Hariti. Because this is always my very in-game healer. And it's just kind of a... 
what I'd rather have done now when I go back into TV world. But with Invigorate 2, this will be even better because she has Meteoron, Diaron, and I believe uh, a variety of other healing things. She is weak to what? Lightning, I think. But with her rank, with my rank 10 and Priestess, she gets a ton of you know a ton of power. So I usually wait until after, obviously Yuki, because one of the reasons I get her maxed out fast for healers. The one thing I really don't need from Hariti is Arrow Rain, but thankfully I'll be able to get rid of that for Smarkarm, because I'd much rather have a full res than Arrow Rain on a healer. While it would be nice to be able to have her stay out in the middle of grinding, I don't really need that on her, so I'm getting rid of that right now. If I want an AoE grind, that'd be why I have Yukiko and Chie in my party. Or even Naoto, if I, if I have, uh, if they're weak to, you know, Mahmudo or Mahama, so. Or any other number of personas. But I'm going to skip forward here. Get I got rid of Needhogger and I get, I'm getting back Rong, Rongda so I can have a magician. I just kind of want to upgrade my, update my persona list a little bit more. I realize the, the commentary is a bit off on this. But I'm kind of in a hurry today, so I apologize for that one. But I'm doing the best I can, darn it. I like to think I'm doing pretty well. Anyway, back to Yosuke. Try and get that sorted out. Actually, come to think of it, I probably should have done Yosuke's earlier, because I think most of his social links take place up on the high, like, hill top where the picnic table is. I forget where that is, but Yo. essentially where we do our our babysitting job. I think it's up there. And since it's foggy right. out, it's not gonna be much of a it's not gonna be much of a view. Oh well, I think it actually has a special text as well. The hill overlooking town. Yosuke brought you here. Fog has enveloped the area. Yep, I thought so. I live in a small town. What's so bad about a small town, city boy? Well, more of a suburb, really, but that's not important. I don't really know. Just cheer up. I don't really. I don't want to be a jerk and say, be a man, stand up straight. I'm not good at this mushy stuff. I want to tell Saki-senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much, now I love it. There's still nothing here, but I have family and friends, and you. The important things are never far off, they're all around you. Yeah, I would be too after all that, if I said all that. I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. The cynical part of me says that's not true, but you are actually right about that. Yeah, like you. You're special to me, you know? Uh, what? I really hope that's in a strictly platonic way. I do not lean that way. But I'm going to assume he means that in the, but in the strictly bro way. I don't even like using that word, bro. I usually use it as a kind of a sarcasm, you know, insult, really. But I do understand the, quote, bromance. I don't really like bromance plots, but they can be pretty interesting if done, done right. So, Yosuke, I think they did it pretty well.
right well that does take a little bit of a load off my mind hopefully that will enable me to finish that social link I think that besides Teddy which is automatic I think that is this the only one in my party that I haven't finished yet I think it is but either way that's going to be it for today because it's been about 20 minutes without all the stuff I cut out so that's going to be it for today as usual guys if you like the video you may wish to like and or subscribe so hopefully I shall see you guys next time goodbye everyone